favorite project is Not Even Once, which implements the HOPE curriculum, which stands for Health and Opioid Abuse Prevention Education. In August of 2016, there was a drastic increase of overdoses throughout the Cincinnati community. So that's when I kind of got motivated and started doing a little bit more research on what was what was the antithesis of all of this. And I came across the HOPE curriculum. HOPE is a, um, obviously it's focused on health and opioid prevention at the same time. It's a K through 12 curriculum and a series of lessons um, in K through eight. And the purpose of the HOPE curriculum is to provide um, that functional knowledge, the skills needed to be drug free and to make healthy choices with medicines or prescription drugs. I was lucky enough to implement the HOPE pilot program during the summer semester of 2017 to Euler. And during the summer, we covered all the lessons from how to be assertive, how to identify a trusted adult in your life, how to um, let people know if you're feeling uncomfortable with something they're offering you, how to stand up for yourself, things of that nature. But the goal of HOPE during the summer program was just to try to get an idea of will kids be receptive to this type of messaging. What makes hope different? It puts kids in the driver's seat. It empowers them, it gives them the choices to make decisions. Nowhere in the curriculum does it say no, or do not do this, or do not do that. It says, here's the options, and here are the tools that you need to make healthy decisions. It's kind of sad, because it's, it's already coming to an end. Like This is like our first semester, and I know it's like a pilot program, but you know, just seeing that the kids are actually excited and having them um, realize that it's something that they're proud to join. The kids were engaged. They were looking forward to the next time that they had hope to ask questions and understand and give themselves you know, another opportunity um, to look at something that they may think they know a lot about, but quickly realize they don't know the entire, entire situation. public health world, you are nowhere without your partners. And this project has really brought that to light that this opioid epidemic will not be solved by just police, just fire, just public health. We have to all work together and we have to start changing the narrative and moving away from the stigma of addiction and moving it towards a conversation of recovery. And that's what will solve this. Thank you.